My name is Willie Leathers and I am a co-founder and owner of Maine Ocean Farms. We're an oyster aquaculture operation operating in Recompense Cove, Casco Bay, Maine. So we grow oysters. Uh, we surface grow them in floating bags. Uh, it takes us about two and a half years to take a oyster seed to market size. So with a strong working waterfront here in Maine, uh, aquaculture has definitely found uh, a very supportive community. A lot of the infrastructure uh, really exists for all of the other industries that have been here for years. Uh, and so the growth of the aquaculture industry right now uh, is really great in this area. So in our operations, we work with a team of about four people, uh, moving our product from our grow out lines around our lease back here to our processing barge. We're moving through different stocking categories uh, throughout the work days, and then the crew is bringing it in, handling it, and putting it back out on our lines to continue growing. So we've been in business for six years. Uh, a big part of our operation is sorting our oyster seed as it grows to different sizes. Each oyster may grow at different rates. We want to be able to divide it uh, and move it around our gear. For the first four years of operation, that was a very manual process, hand sorting over some homemade screens. Um, we then instituted the use of a Gerard Daniels uh, vibratory sorter, uh, and that's greatly increased our efficiency, allowed us to use a mechanized process to divide that seed. Uh, and as we increase the quantity uh, of our oysters on site, it's allowed us to keep the time frames that we need for processing. So we enjoy the aspect of the vibratory sorter as opposed to a rotary or cylindrical sorter in that it allows the seed to be handled in a gentle fashion. So we use the screens throughout the process to divide our product from different sizes. So when we receive the seed from a nursery, it's about two millimeters in size, a little bit of couscous or quinoa. As that grows, we need to be able to both reduce the stocking density as well as separate the, the fast growers from the slow to keep our bags being used at their uh, greatest efficiency. Uh, we're able to use the different size screens throughout the growth of the oysters to be able to make the divisions efficiently. So having a community of shellfish growers here in Casco Bay, we're able to uh, maximize some of our efficiency by sharing equipment um, and using it in a cooperative way. So we share this sorter uh, with another farm out on Shabig uh, and two operators out there use it to separate their seed. We find a great balance between the time we need it just about every other week uh, and the time that they need it. Uh, so at this scale for our operations, it's been a great opportunity to work together, learn together about the equipment uh, and be able to put it to use on our farms. My name's Bob Ernest. I'm co-owner of Shabig Island Oyster Company. Several years ago, we bought, uh, in collaboration with Maine Ocean Farms and Bluffhead Oysters, a separating machine from Gerard Daniel. Before we bought the separator machine, we sorted the oysters by hand in baskets that were built with a screen on the bottom of them. The separating machine that we bought from Gerard Daniel simplified that process dramatically. The separator machine shakes them in order to let them fall through the screen size by size, but it also knocks off the new growth of the shell, which biologically encourages the oyster to grow a deeper cup, which is a more premium product. It's been a great time saver for us and a wonderful machine to work with. So getting to use the Gerard Daniel separating machine has really allowed us to fine tune the way that we switch our product from bags. So getting the right stocking density, having the right product in the right bag at the right time really makes a difference in how it grows. And it also makes a difference in how we utilize the space on our lease. Yeah, so here on the coast of Maine, there's a great community of shellfish growers. Uh, and there's also a great community of shellfish connoisseurs. Um, so Portland uh, in particular has become a, uh, a very sought after destination for shellfish. And we're pleased to be able to provide oysters uh, to, the, uh, to the discerning customers that come to enjoy them. Uh, we found a great receptive market for our product here in the local area and we really do try to prioritize having our local businesses uh, always stocked. So in the future as we look to expand our business and fill out the capacity of our lease, we'll look to invest in another Gerard Daniels sorter for ourselves to have here on our operations full time.